This is Leah with Backyard Homestead in Starkville, Mississippi, and we are out in the garden this morning getting ready to plant these Roma tomatoes. And these Roma tomatoes are ones that we started from seed in flats like this. And this is our next crop of Romas we've got coming up from seed in these flats. But we, train, we set them out from the flat like this into our solo cups that we use every year and save and reuse and that's been a great investment these cups this is our about fifth year to use these cups so getting a lot of use out of these but these are our Roma tomatoes and we're getting ready to put these out in the garden this morning so those Romas are going to go on this fence in this row and I'm going through now and setting them we're doing them about 18 inches apart, every foot and a half on this row. And so I'm going through and taking the cups and setting them out. And I'll come back and show you after I have everything placed. This is the row laid out. And I initially put them 18 inches apart, like I talked about, a foot and a half. And they looked way too close. So then I spread them out to 24, about 24 inches apart. And I like the looks of that better. So I've got all the cups placed down the row. And now I'm going to go through go and plant them and I'll come back and show you that in just a second okay so when I'm planting just dig a good good deep hole and we don't try to bury them real deep you know some people do and that's fine but we're not overly concerned with that so take the plant and we've got these cups have worked great you can see we've scratched out and labeled them used them for about five years now and cups work great they have good drainage we burned a hole in um, burned holes in the bottom for drainage and let's see after I dig the hole I'm going through and I'm putting a little bit of Epsom salt in the hole then remove the plant and the roots at the bottom loosen those up some of them are a little bit more root bound than this one when I plant on the other end and then if they're just kind of lightly loosen the roots on the sides then put it in back my dirt up tamp it in and then we are also using some of our worm castings and putting it around the top so it's got eggshell worm castings worms in there our red wigglers and adding a cup of the worm castings around the top and that's it I'm gonna go through and plant the entire row you can pull off these lower leaves <clears throat> go through and I'll do the entire row and come back and show you when it's done and after we get finished um, planting all these I'm gonna go back and mulch it And rake it back this good, good loose soil. It's been raining here, so everything's good and wet. If it were really dry, I'd probably be watering these in individually, but it's not, not super dry, so I'll just go back and water at the end. A little bit of Epsom salt. Again, these plants are super, super healthy. Loosen it up, pinch off the bottom leaves. Okay, that's it for this row. I have the entire row planted and they're gorgeous big beautiful tomato plants so this row is planted and I've gone and put the worm castings around each plant I am going to go ahead and plant the other row of these and then come back when I'm finished planting the other row and mulch around both rows at the same time and we're gonna mulch with hay this time but that is it and these are some big beautiful plants we grew from seed that we saved from last year from our Roma tomatoes and have high expectations for these girls. They're gorgeous, gorgeous plants. 
and they, we should have given them a good start with how we planted them. I'll come back and show you the other row when I get finished with it. Okay, so I got this row of Roma tomatoes planted, <clears throat> and I also planted that row over there on that fence. And there were 17 on this row, and the one I just planted got 16. So what's that, 33, 33 plants, 33 Roma tomato plants. We spaced them a little further this year than we usually do. So see how that compares to other years. But they, again, plants are happy and healthy and look like they ought to do really well. So we'll see. The only thing I have left to do um, is I want to mulch with hay around these tomatoes. But first, I am going to, we have zinnias volunteering over here and I want to mulch this pretty heavily. So I am going to dig up these several little zinnias that have volunteered over here and transplant them over on the fence. And after I get that done, I'm gonna mulch with the hay. And when I finish all that, I will come back and show you what it looks like. I meant to show you these green beans are starting to bloom now. This is our other patch, or one of our other patches of bush green beans. And they look like they're gonna do really well for us too. All right, so I am going to transplant these zinnias and then mulch with hay around these tomatoes. And when that whole project's finished, I will come back and show you. All right, and this is the last thing to do was to go down and mulch around the tomato plants and we mulched with hay this time. We uh, try to keep everything covered. We've got a bunch of mulching we need to do right now, a bunch of covering, but we try to cover with either, we usually cover with either hay or grass clippings or chopped leaves, whatever we can get our hands on. And right now hay's plentiful. So we're gonna cover everything in the garden with hay, but mulched around the tomato plants, got them in, everything looks nice. And I'll come back and show you as they grow what they look like. But these are our Roma tomatoes. Thanks for watching.